sit around and see why we're here when we look up and see this uh, beautiful canoe here. And the significance of having the bill signing down here was this was my father's canoe. Um, and actually in the flood of 96, the canoe was, uh, was taken from us here at Frank's Landing, um, but it was, it was returned home. So the significance of us having the bill signing in here is huge to the school and to our family, to the Nisqually tribe and everybody here. Today is a big step forward for the state of Washington because we expect to send our best from the state of Washington to be memorialized in the United States Capitol in Statuary Hall. We can't send the Nisqually River to the Capitol or Mount Rainier, but we can send Billy Frank Jr. And this is a huge honor for the state of Washington and blessing for the United States of America because we are sending to the U.S. Capitol the best of the state of Washington. The best of the state of Washington is a person who lived a life dedicated to several of the highest values we hold in the state of Washington, tribal and non-tribal Washingtonians. And that is the value of justice and the value of protecting the blessed state we have and the salmon and the fur and everything else that's given us such a wonderful state. And Billy Frank Jr. was known as a warrior for justice, justice for tribal people so that the Treaty of Medicine Creek could finally be honored after centuries of neglect. He was a warrior for the natural world and the values that we hold so dear in the state of Washington. Salmon are next to our hearts, and now we have a warrior for salmon in the United States Capitol. It is both his virtues of being a warrior for justice for his people to finally see the law of the United States actually being followed. And let's be clear what he did. He stood up for the law of the United States. And it took him decades for that law to finally be recognized. But he also represented the best of Washington State, which is recognizing this jewel we have in our waters, in our air, in our mountains, in our rivers. And for that, I, I, I'm so gratified to be able to sign a bill making sure that he is honored. And I think it is a wonderful thing that now when people walk through the US Capitol, and I've seen this many times, moms and dads taking their kids walking through the Capitol, and the kids will point up at a statue, Father Damien of Hawaii, Sacagawea, Will Rogers uh, from the Midwest. And they'll ask, who was that, Mom? They're now going to hear the story of Billy Frank Jr. in the United States Capitol. And I think that is a treasured moment. And I'm glad that we are doing that for this reason. You know, it's a great day today when we, we sign into law the statue commemorating the Frank family, Billy Frank Jr. Also recognizing the fact that, you know, he couldn't have done this without our people here in the great Northwest, the tribes throughout these nations here in the Pacific Northwest this nationwide. You know, this is the message that's going to be spread throughout Washington, D.C. with this statue. It's a great honor, not only for the Nisqually Nation, but native and whole. Our, our brother from Alaska to come witness this, this uh, signing of this bill. This is great. Everyone here recognizing this young man in the back here, Nugent Couch, that stood side by side. My aunt, my uncle, you know, numerous family members, members here in the Squally Nation. Our whole tribal council today, all seven members are here to witness what is about to take place in history with Billy Frank Jr. I am very honored that the Frank family asked me to speak today for Nisqually. You know, it's a great honor for the Frank family and what they've established here 
on the banks of the Nisqually River. The fish wars, you know, the numerous battles that took place. Some of the, some of our, you know, folks that battled have passed on, but that lives through the generations in this school here as well throughout the Northwest. What we're doing here today is frankly almost a sacred act to hold up Billy uh, as an exemplar of the best of us, as surely he was, as Governor Inslee so eloquently described, as someone whose life and whose journey and whose actions were truly historic, nothing less. They were truly historic. From the time he was that self-described getting arrested guy to the time he was the great reconciler. He guided us, and he inspired us, and he taught us. As I have said often, and I don't think it can be said too often, Billy Frank was a great man. He was a great man. And he deserves to be in Statuary Hall. But you know what? I think we deserve for him to be in Statuary Hall, to see him there. He's kind of a modern choice, having walked on, frankly, not that long ago. But he's also an ancient choice, right? Because he ties us back to those of you who have been here from the very beginning, time immemorial. And it's because of that that he is a choice that will stand the test of time. Speaking of time, it is said that you die twice. The first time, and then the second time, when people stop talking about you or remembering you. Well, because of what is happening today, we're never gonna stop talking about or remembering Billy. And he is going to keep guiding us and inspiring us and teaching us. And we are all the better for it. If you listen closely, you can hear Billy's voice throughout the room. Tell your story. 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 Never forget who you are and where you come from. We stand in this room surrounded by the spirit of Billy today, rising us up, reminding us of what's important, our values, our dedication to our people, seven generations of knowing. I came to Washington State as a young girl fresh out of college. I come from the shorelines of Yakutat. When the tide is out, the table is set. Every species of king salmon comes from Yakutat and flows in there. The hooligans, the herring eggs, the sea urchins, the seaweed, our halibut cheeks. And I came to Washington and I sat with the tribes and I said, where is your salmon? Where are your hooligans? Where is your seaweed? Where are your clams? And my heart broke as the tribal leader said, and it was Billy, we're still fighting for them to return. Billy will stand in Washington, D.C., amongst the greatest of the great is the greatest man that he is, and he will tell the story of who we are as Native American people, the first Americans, the first Washingtonians. He will make sure that your children's children's children of this great America will know who you are and where you come from. It's an honor to stand with Lieutenant Governor Heck. It's an honor to stand with Governor Inslee. It's an honor to stand with Chairman Cho, with Willie. It is an honor to stand on the homelands of Billy in the mighty Nisqually tribal nation. It took every boner for me not to stop and jump out of my car and put my hands on the ground where Billy walked and say thank you. To Nisqually, thank you for sharing Billy with us. My father was arrested over 50 times in his life right here on the Nisqually River for exercising his tree right, for doing what he was taught by his dad and his grandfather. My brother and I, we still fish in the same set where my father and grandfather fish. That's over 100 plus years of our family being able to fish in the same area here along the Nisqually River. 
we're at a turning point right now when it comes to our salmon and our natural resources. You know, wh what are we doing? We're at a crossroads. And, and we can't stick with the status quo. The status quo is not working anymore. I know my father right now is looking down. He's very happy to see this event taking place. He's very happy to see our elders here, our tribal members, friends, family, former uh, folks that he used to work with. You know, we, we would love to do a bigger event at some point as well and acknowledge everybody who took part in this. Um, I think everybody knows, you know, one of the, the greatest features of my father was bringing people together. And here we are today, all together, recognizing my father. But I, also, he was about making sure that we were all working together. And I think that's what is so important today, to have the governor and folks from the uh, state of Washington here to show that we can work together for the future of our people. And I think, uh, you know, one of the biggest things here, he, he would, he'd be happy to see this, but he'd also tell all of us up here on the stage that we're not done. We're a long ways from being done. We have a lot more work to do. He said, you could celebrate today, but tomorrow you guys get back to work. We need to continue the fight. We need to continue the battle and educate people about who the hell we are as Native people. Uh, Billy Frank Jr., uh, his spirit is in Washington State, and with my signing of House Bill 1372, his statue will be in Washington, D.C. And I can't wait to see his canoe bear his statue up the Potomac River and be placed in the U.S. Capitol. <laughs> Congratulations to everyone. I want to thank particularly Representative Lakanoff and all the great leadership that's been going on. Uh, to make his spirit alive in the state of Washington in the years to come, and now in the United States of America. With that, I'm signing House Bill 1372.